Now to a significant development in the disappearance of a missing college student in Utah. We brought you the story last week here on News Nation Prime, and over the weekend, this young woman was found safe, thankfully, in a home with a man that she had met online. That man is now in custody and charged with violent kidnapping. Dating apps have surged in popularity, but it's not just adults swiping right. Because teens are getting in on the action too. But because platforms like Tinder, Bumble, and Grindr have age limit on them of 18 plus teens as young as 13 are turning to apps like Yubo and Meetup and even using Discord and Instagram to find love and of course friendship. Have you heard of any of these apps right here? I have not. Do any of these apps look familiar to you? No, none of them actually. But teens, you don't have to ask twice. So have you heard of this one here? Kick? Yeah. Yes. Do any of these apps sound familiar to you? Uh, yeah. Apps lurking behind the curtains, allowing children to have secret conversations with strangers, send private photos, and more. They're drawn to these apps for the same reasons they're drawn to any social media, for connection, validation, and a sense of belonging. While it's happening in a way that might feel foreign to us, the fundamentals haven't changed all that much from when we were teens. However, the same anonymity and convenience that make dating apps appealing can also make them risk it. It's really uh, like identical to how it works. So swiping left, swiping right. And so you've got kids out there that are having to be on this platform 13 and up. And so they're putting out these, these images of themselves that are sexualized, trying to get attention, trying to get somebody to, to swipe right. They're selling these apps um, for, to our kids. Teens aren't always the best at understanding the long-term implications of their online actions. Sharing too much personal information, whether it's their location, school, or even just personal photos, can leave them vulnerable. Not everyone online has good intentions, and this is something that kids are a bit oblivious to when they are young. Then there's the exposure to inappropriate content. Despite age restrictions, it's not that hard for younger teens to get on these platforms where they might encounter content that's not suitable for their age or developmental stage. One of the most popular is the calculator app lock. You can see at first glance it appears to be a harmless calculator, but when you type in a selected passcode, this is what shows up. A hidden vault of photos, videos, and notes. It even allows you to search the internet in a private browser. We recently reviewed Omegle, the live chat room on this channel, and it was it was pretty shocking. And you only needed to be 13 to access it. Well, Omegle may have finished, but it's also left a vacuum. And I'm sure that somebody will come along who will fill in the gap sooner than we think. Uba on the App Store says you have to be 17 plus years old. Wiz on the App Store says you have to be 12 plus years old. And Perp on the App Store says you have to be 12 plus years old. The issue of privacy is quite literally just the tip of a very big iceberg. Worst case scenarios have been in the news for years with scammers, catfishers, and sex Sexual predators constantly on the hunt. Dating apps have been linked to arrests for murder, attempted murder, and robbery. Teens might think they're tech savvy and street smart, but it can be all too easy for a predator to catfish them, which is basically posing as a peer in order to exploit their trust and naivety. Which, to be honest, is the perfect segue to my next point the psychological effects. Constant rejection, pressure to look or act a certain way, or or simply the stress of maintaining an online persona, which is separate from their personality, can take a toll on teens' mental health. It's a lot for us adults to deal with. Now imagine kids facing the same struggle. And then, of course, we have the cyberbullying and harassment, which can be rampant in this impersonal environment. Comments, pressure to share inappropriate photos or worse, these are not things that many people have the guts to voice in real life. Hide people behind the safety of their screens and you're opening a whole new can of worms. But don't despair, most of these things can be resolved and are simpler to resolve than you think. From where I sit, something as simple as awareness is the first step towards protection. But what does that even mean? Should we just plonk our kids in front of some educational content or maybe scare them by showing them news? Or is there something more down to earth? Approach your teen with an open mind, educate yourself, 
and just have a chat with them. Talk to them the way you would talk to your friends. Ask them about their experiences and perceptions of dating apps. No judgment. This is all just about being present, trying to understand, not to reprimand. Stay in the loop and on top of trends and the latest apps and discuss the do's and don'ts. And just to be on the safe side, maybe set up something like FamiSafe and set boundaries together. This is important, the together part. This isn't about laying down the law, but about helping them set their own limits and know why they need them. FamiSafe will then take care of the rest. At the end of the day, it all starts with your child's self-esteem. Encourage them to stand tall, to recognize their own spark, their own individuality, their true self, and not to trade their comfort or values for something cheap like thumbs up or heart emoji from somebody else. Somebody who would potentially throw them under the bus at the first opportunity of a bit of clout. Nothing that lasts or that is of some value happens overnight. The sooner they learn these basic principles, the easier it's going to be for them to spot the red flags of unhealthy relationships or even understanding that some things just need time, care and attention to fully develop and flourish. Help them understand that things like respect are a two-way street. Teach them about being kind and respectful online as in real life and expecting the same vibe back from others. Consent is another huge deal in every kind of interaction. Empower your teens not just to navigate dating apps safely, but to navigate life with confidence and respect. Cheer them on to find real world hobbies and groups where they can spark with genuine connections. Remind them there's a big exciting world beyond their phone. And all they have to do to see it is put down their phone for five minutes.